I'm Miss Junta and we are at Tuckahoe Middle School. This is our IB Geometry class of eighth graders. And we are going to be talking about logical arguments because middle schoolers love to argue. And if they can make sense of those arguments, then we've done our job. Great. Um, so we're going to start like we always start with our number sense routine. And today we are going to revisit our cheese balls. Okay. So what can you guys tell me about the cheese balls? What do you notice? What do you remember? What do you want to know? Beckett? Well, they're about halfway eaten. Okay, they're about halfway eaten. Thank you. What else? Luke? They are cheese. They are cheese. So cheese, yum. Halfway eaten. Alex? Uh, it's been like roughly a month since we started. So it's been approximately one month since we started this journey. Chloe? Um, I just have to I think it's been more than a month. Okay, so maybe it's been greater than a month? It's been like eight months. Yeah, it's like eight weeks. Like Drew? It's been 24 days. It's been 24 days. Where do you see that? On the cheese ball days. Ah, on the cheese ball days. Okay, so it's been 24 days, which is almost a month. Sophia? Um, I'm guessing that the cheese balls are probably stale by now. Okay, so they might be stale. Are they? Oh, yeah, I mean, I've been eating them, so I can tell you that they are a little stale. I will say that. Chloe? How much do you, like, when you're taking a how much do you eat? How much? No, I'm asking you. I'm writing down your question, yeah. <laughs> how much do I eat <laughs> when I eat the handful of cheese balls? Um, probably like 11. 11 cheese balls <laughs> at a time. A day? Well, do have I done it every day, do you think? No. 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 It's been like 300 days. How often? Maybe like every other day or like once a week, twice a week. At first I was doing it every day, but if you can imagine I got sick of the cheese balls. Um, Jackson? Uh, if you would like do it every day for the rest of the year, like we're not on track to do it. Okay, so if I were to do it every day for the rest of the year, we're not on track. Based on what? Uh, like the estimate we have. What was our estimate? Wasn't it 89 days? Yeah, so we estimated it would take me 89 days. Do we think that estimate mm -hmm. is still a good estimate? Do we want to revise our estimate? Cheese balls revisited. Okay, so I'm going to have you talk to your groups. Try and come up with a new estimate if you want to revise it. And if not, explain why not. Why? Why not? Grant. Um, so since we were about like halfway through, mm -hmm. um, we said about like approximately one, two, five. 
125 yeah, approximately. days. Okay, because we're halfway through. And since, and we, well, we originally said 120, but since at the start you were going like every day and now you're only going like every other day or like twice a week, we added the five. He's saying so, Addy, can you add on to that? He's not saying every single day you eat it, like from like when you started to when you end. That many days, not the days you're actually eating it. Okay, so it's oh, going to take me from. The days are only counted when she eats it. Uh, oh, then it's like, so then it's like 115. No, oh my god. No. Wait, from now? Wait, 115 from now? No, 115 to start. Yeah, 115. It's been 24 days. And oh, he like can Are you saying 115 is the amount she eats? Oh, she's only had 24? Oh. Yes. Oh. Then but she, she then had Do you want to revise again? I say like. I say like 50. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jackson? Yeah, right. Rob's estimate of around 58. 58? 58. 58. Uh, Luke? We did a little, like, we, st we st went low and high, but we decided on 59 because we think you're going to slow down the more you go because they're going to get grosser. So you think I'm going to eat less than a yeah. handful? No, okay. but also, oh, you're no. Gonna, yeah, eat less than a handful and you're just going to probably just, like, be less, you know, less morale. Okay, less enthusiastic about it. Thank you. Chloe? Um, our group said 57 because it's been 24 days now, and, like, the jars like, a little bit more than half, and Okay. All right. So can we make a new S? Do you want to make a new estimate? Do you want to change 89? Do you think averaging is fair? Okay. Let's average it. Who has a calculator? We can average it. I got it. You said 52? All right. Oh, 50 also. All right, uh, wait for your 56. estimate. 56. I got it. Okay, thumbs up if you want to go with a new estimate of 56. Thumbs down if you disagree. Thumbs in the middle if you don't care about cheese balls anymore. Oh. Okay. All right, so that looks like mostly thumbs up. So I'm changing your estimate to 56. All right, we'll see what the other classes say as well. Abed, what's up? This is now probably the third time you've asked me that. Can you get cheese balls if you win the cheese ball days guessing? Yes, sure. All right, um, so we are going to, we're going to switch gears, and we're going to talk more about logical arguments. And so on your desks, there are notes. Um, and there are two sheets of paper because I know a lot of you guys like to cut out the notes and put them into your notebook. So you need both sheets of paper. And you need three different colored highlighters. All right, we're going to get started in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Um, so we're going to start by watching this direct TV commercial. There are many like this. Um, and we're going to think about whether or not this makes logical sense. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to direct TV. All right. So what happened? What happened to this individual? What happened at the beginning? What was like the thing that started it all? Allie? non -functioning. You said non-functioning TV? Yeah, something with the TV. Alex? He was stuck on the phone with the cable company. Yeah, because of that non-functioning TV. And then a lot of other stuff happened, and what was the conclusion? He roadside, roadside ditch. Roadside ditch. He's injured and stuck in a roadside ditch. And so the way that we got from him being on the phone with the cable company because his TV is out to getting stuck in a roadside ditch, a lot of other things happened. 
Um, and this is called the law of syllogism. It's sort of similar to the transitive property. Can you remember the transitive property from algebra? Maybe. Is Luke? it like when you take the parentheses and make it into parentheses? Not quite. The transitive property is more like if I say A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Oh, okay. okay. So it's, it's um, on your notes, it says something like, it's like dominoes because if one thing happens, then something else happens. Then if that thing happens, something else happens. Then if that thing happens, something else happens, and so on and so on. So why I asked you to get highlighters is because I think it helps to organize your brain and your argument when you're first learning these different logical arguments. So the law of syllogism, um, you have a given of two true conditional statements where one, where the conclusion of one is the hypothesis of the other. And then you can conclude if the hypothesis of the first occurs, then the conclusion of the second will occur. So I think this makes a lot more sense when we actually look at an example. So I'm going to highlight the word hypothesis in one color, and I'm going to highlight the word conclusion in another color. So my hypothesis in example one says, if it rains today, then we will not have a picnic. So my hypothesis is, it rains today. What's the conclusion of that first statement? What's the conclusion of the first statement? Jackson? They want, to, they want a picnic. We will not have a picnic. Great. OK, so I'm going to use a different color for that one. That's OK. You'll fix it. So if it rains today, then we will not have a picnic. I'm color coordinating, yep. If we don't have a picnic, so I'm going to highlight that green, then we won't see our friends. We won't see our friends. And so I'll highlight that in a different color also. So yeah, just like Chloe said, I was color coordinating. So using the law of syllogism, I'm going to take the hypothesis of my first statement and match it with the conclusion of my second statement. So what would my conclusion be for this given situation? Alex? If it rains today, we won't see our, then we won't see our friends. Awesome. So my conclusion would be, if it rains today, then we won't see our friends. So I'll color code that also for us. So if it rains today, we won't see our friends. What questions do you have so far? Yep, you want to write the conclusion. Okay, let's look at that second example. So the second example I'm sure you've heard of before. If you give a mouse a cookie, then he will ask for a glass of milk. So the hypothesis here is you give a mouse a cookie. And the conclusion is he will ask for a glass of milk. Okay, my second statement says, if you give a mouse a cookie, so I'm going to highlight that yellow because it's the same hypothesis, then he will ask for a straw. That's a different conclusion. Okay, great. So, what's different about this example? What's different about the second example? Ovid? It's the same hypothesis but different conclusions. It's the same hypothesis but different conclusions. So this is actually a non-example. Okay, this is called a non-example because it does not work. There is no conclusion that we can draw from this argument because it does not follow the law of syllogism. So I'm going to write up here non-example. And I'm going to write down here 
no valid conclusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how could we change? Yes, Grant. Um, well, couldn't you say he will ask for a um, he will ask for a glass of milk and a straw? Like, you so using the law of syllogism, you could not say that. Um, but how could we change it so that it would make sense? How could we change these statements so that it would make sense, Arthur? Um, for the second statement, you can say if you give a mouse a glass of milk. Then what? Then he'll ask for a straw. Great. So if you give a mouse a cookie, then he will ask for a glass of milk. What was that second statement again? Okay, so if you give him a glass of milk, then he'll ask for a straw. Yes. And then our conclusion would be what? Oh, that's okay. So if you give a mouse a cookie, he will ask for a glass of milk. If you give him a glass of milk, he'll ask for a straw. So what's the conclusion? Awesome. If you give a mouse a cookie, then he'll ask for a straw. Cool. What questions do you have about the law of syllogism? Go for it. Mm -hmm. Um, you might be asked that, uh, but you're most likely going to be asked whether or not there's a valid conclusion that you can make. So that there is no valid conclusion because you don't know why he's asking for a straw? Yep, because you have the same hypothesis twice. Oh. And using the law of syllogism, you're going to have these two parts. That's a conclusion and a hypothesis that should match up. That's why I use using the highlighter so we can see that they're supposed to match up. Um, so let's make our own example. Who can give me a conditional statement? An interesting conditional statement. Can think back to what we did a week ago. Chloe? If Addy scores 18 points in basketball, he will win. Okay, so if Addy scores 18 points in basketball, ball is life, <laughs> then we will win or they will win? We will win. Because really it's our team, right? Okay, so let's go from there. Let's use that conclusion. What happens if we will win? We will be happy, great. If we win, we will be happy. So what's my valid conclusion? You can go. Yes, and let's all clap for Addy. Good job, Addy. That was a long time ago. If Addy scores 18 points, then we will be happy. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Go Patriots!